Hey guys, happy Monday. New day, new you. Just kidding. Don't you hate when um, coaches are just cheerleaders? I, uh, I teach our students in the Callus Intensive to not be a cheerleader, to come in real instead of um, just rooting for someone's life because that could get very annoying, especially with all the noise today. Um, this weekend, I went and saw uh, an old movie called Reality Bites. And I remember when, um, I think I was in my early 20s, I first saw it. Um, I loved that movie. And uh, seeing, again, seeing it again as a 46-year-old, it was so different. And um, so, so the story, um, it's just about, you know, uh, being in your early 20s post-college and, and, and not having a sense of self and, and all of that. And also it's about love and young love. And there's a character who's kind of like the, the quote-unquote quote bad boy. His name's Troy, uh, played by Ethan Hawke. And um, he's like the poet with the, you know, the cool bangs and the guitar straps around his uh, shoulder. And he doesn't, um, he, he's avoidant. He doesn't treat women well. He has a lot of one-night stands, uh, isn't able to really uh, show himself and be consistent. And then there's another character played by Ben Stiller who's kind of like the nice guy, right? And he's he's authentic. Um, he's uh, vulnerable, but he he's not, not the bad boy, right? He's like the, the, the friend um, that, that you you know is a good guy and will give you a lot but you're not necessarily attracted to and what's interesting is in my 20s when i first saw this uh like everyone else i was like yeah go for troy um troy's ethan hawk and then at the end they get together and you're excited and you're happy and you're just like oh this is romance and this is love and this is what a happy ending is going to look like um but now as a 46 year old watching this movie it wasn't romantic. It was actually sad because it was, <laughs> it was, it was the um, pattern of so many people that I see who fall for the um, the avoidant, who fall for uh, uh, someone based on um, the butterflies and the chemistry and the feeling and all that, which is great, but. That shit doesn't build a healthy relationship. That's that's not sustainable. And I was thinking as I was watching this movie how, okay, this is the pattern of um, Al-Anon meetings, codependency, enmeshment, um, you know, whatever, maybe infidelity, all of that stuff. And watching this movie again through a new lens, it just reminded me how... Uh, the world positions love and how we champion, um, you know, this this idea of um, lightning in the bottle and ro uh, romantic and and um, just just being a hopeless romantic and getting caught up in the feeling of love instead of um, what it takes to build a healthy relationship. And I know that um, watching that movie, like if there was a sequel. Um, we know what happens. Uh, Troy would uh, treat another writer like shit, and uh, they would have their uh, their um, beautiful dysfunctional relationship. And then she will outgrow him, and then she will realize that um, Ben Stiller was the person that she should have chosen uh, because he would have uh, he was more authentic and would have provided a safer space. Um, but of course, it's going to take years of heartbreak and. Um, misery and <laughs> lots of learning, uh, meetings, therapy, uh, self-betterment, all of that um, for her to le uh, learn that um, relationships are built and you can't just go by feelings. Anyway, um, that is the reality of Reality Bites and, um, and that's it. Happy Monday. Uh, this week we are texting about, or we, me, I am texting you about uh, limited beliefs uh, we all pull, pull from our false beliefs and then we make decisions based on our false beliefs which give us uh, experiences that are the same and that cement those false beliefs. So I think growth is about dissolving your false beliefs so you can give yourself new experiences and then of course in those new experiences you shift your belief systems and, th and th this is across the board with everything, right? Not just uh, love but uh, work and and friendships and all of that. So uh, jump in there if you want uh, to get my text. And at the end of the week, and this is what I'm super excited about these days, we give you a Google Doc 
and there's more science and research and um, it's a, a curation of a lots of a lots of information and how to so uh, five days of text four days of text maybe a, 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 an exclusive or a private video and then the the Google Doc is like the caboose the the boom at the end um, that will uh, help you as you go into your weekend all right I don't want to say happy Monday because that sounds generic but um, I hope you have a meaningful Monday and I hope this Monday today something happens uh, that's different than any other Monday that shifts something in you gives you a new experience and opens the door for new beliefs so that uh, your life could slowly start to change and you can start connecting back to you